two this is chaos Rupert, and today is a special day i am at anime stacks with my good friend rich and eric and they're gonna tell you a little bit about stacks in st louis this is one of my favorite anime uh get togethers and uh i'm gonna let you guys take it away for a second before i ask my questions okay and uh why don't we start on the right with the nice colorful shirt present yourself okay i am uh eric uh I'm uh, stack name is Plague, uh, but the only a few people have names uh, as colorful as that in, in Stack. We're longtime members. Uh -huh. uh, currently, the uh, SGA president, uh, looking for a treasurer if you happen to be an UMSL student, but the club is open to all. Uh -huh. uh, we can keep this up and live for another year and a half, but if we can get, uh, get, get uh, some more UMSL participation, we'll have free pizza at some point. Yes, because we're starving. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, we take breaks around 7. And, uh, that's our little social half hour where you can just talk and not have to miss anything. Uh, but you can also make a food run. And usually we run and grab some tacos or something like that. Okay. And uh, how long have you been in the group? I've or in the club, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Off and on, about 10 years. 10 years? Okay. And Rich? Well, yeah, I'm Richard. A rich. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care what name he uses. He's the guy who brings the anime. Don't piss him off. No, no. He'll throw you out. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Just uh, saying. <laughs> no, I, I've been in the club for since like 97, 98, somewhere in there. So mm -hmm. almost 20 years. Almost 20 years. Oh, my God. I took over from the guy who used to be doing the videos and uh, have been doing it since would be nice to find a replacement for me sometime in the near future because I'm not exactly getting younger. <laughs> right, <laughs> just, a little, just a little bit, and, okay. So um, you say you, you've been doing doing this for about what, 20 years, right? Mm -hmm. So what would be the difference 20 years ago to now when you were setting up or when someone else was setting up anime for you know whatever small group that shows up? Well, differences? Fortunately, uh, the technology hasn't really changed all that much, so mm -hmm. I can still just bring in a laptop, plug it into the, uh, the electronics that are here at UMSL, and it goes from there. Oh, now does, um, I didn't mean to stop you. Do any one of you know when the club actually, like, formed, or who formed it? Uh, 1993, David Gelman, mm -hmm. uh, who is actually our, uh, our student advisor now. Oh, okay. Yeah. So is so exact. Like, how did it all start? Let me say it that way. How did it all just form? Well, like, him, Mike Kelly, and, and other UMSL students who uh, I know, but uh, have since graduated, and most of them have moved on and are doing fun things. Uh, <laughs> well, you, you know them as well as I do. Uh, they just got together back in the day. Anime was hard to come by, and uh, uh, Mike started getting into. Uh, subtitling uh, so he had a uh, the uh, local uh, uh, Japanese cl uh, club uh, kids uh, doing the translation for him and and they'd be uh, working on the, on uh, putting out uh, the the uh, dubs or the subtitles that you know as uh, as as ever however he wanted to do it mm -hmm. so he ran the club for for a good 10 years as you know he would download the uh, the stuff uh, uh, back in the day mm -hmm. and uh, bring it in and uh, we'd watch the old subtitles over here and that'd be about 48 uh, roughly uh, enemies per year give or take a few uh, drama <laughs> <laughs> okay and live actions well and it's nothing wrong with that I mean it's all Japanese so more than mm -hmm. more than a thousand enemies we've shown so far now on an average day how many members actually show up on, a, on an honest uh, on average, it's anywhere between three to five. Now, how many members do you guys have? Over eighty. <laughs> oh, okay. It, you know, it's it's hard to get a real calculation because, you know, I've got eighty people on the books right now, but I don't have access to the sorry historical for the records. Noise in the background, but yeah, but I'm sorry. Mm. So you know, that's twenty three years. I don't know everybody. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. Makes sense. I ha I just ran into a new guy today. Uh, he old uh, older Umsel student. He just showed up today. The first time I saw him. But you know, yeah. does just because you leave doesn't mean you can't come back. Well, that's pretty much what he did. He was he 
came here on a fairly regular basis a couple of years ago, and now he's coming back again. Hopefully he'll come back on a more frequent basis than <laughs> just this once. All right, okay. Because, uh, you know, the more we have here, the more I think everybody enjoys it because we can all talk to each other about the shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, unlike some places that seem to be really strict about you can't talk during the show and it, it, yeah I've, I've seen that video it, it was it was informative but at the same time <laughs> if we if we've been friends for like 10 years or five years and you don't get to see each other except on Saturdays or whatever you're gonna say hey how you doing and we we, we riff tracks it up in here so yes. yeah we do make fun of the animes if if there's that that one good good thing. We may tear tear it apart all night, but uh, yeah, since some of us have matured and gotten older, we've we've cut it down a bit. <laughs> cutting it down, yeah, yeah, C- well, cutting it down is like trying to cut down a tree with a blunt object. <laughs> yeah, if, if we run across an anime that um, cool features though. a lot of uh, fan service, mm-hmm. to use the uh, colloquial term for it, um, we'll. we'll joke around with each other how much they're actually going to show how mm-hmm. much it compares to other shows we've seen before and uh, I think Aika was the the winner so far with um, what was it 100 penny shots in, one in 30 minute. seconds or in, in <laughs> maybe, minute, maybe it was a minute it was. Yeah, in one minute <laughs> are you serious had, no had, yeah, there, was one, there was a counter on it <laughs> Yeah, there was a fan subgroup that actually put a counter in the lower corner. Oh, my God. Counting up the panty shots as it rolled through the minute. And a little timer next to it to show you the, the seconds going by. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? Yep. That's such fan service. That's <laughs> so fan service. It's just wrong. I can see just like a five-year walking in going like, Mom, are those yours? No, just it's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's horrible. Well, we don't have too many young kids coming to the college campus. No. Uh, people who bring kids here, usually the kids are actually interested in watching the anime and they have a good time. We discourage kids being brought here that are just going to run around and annoy everybody. Yes. But if your kids like it, we're not going to kick you out. <laughs> Now, have you guys in the past, you know, since I've been a member, have you guys ever had to actually physically kick anyone out the club, honestly? I never have. Um, I don't recall me ever having to physically remove somebody. Um, there, there are other ways of dealing with that, like in that one video that we were mentioning earlier. Mm-hmm. They actually talk about how you can do that officially, but since back then we didn't have any sort of official rules or anything Mm -hmm. what you can normally do is you can socially encourage somebody to go away maybe they won't go away that day but eventually they'll get the message and you know disappear well we've got a large auditorium so we if you don't like someone you can actually just move to a different seat in a different row i have seen that happen (laughs) too many times too many times um, so who chooses the anime, honestly, um, now? Well, we we normally did it by whoever was handling the videos would pretty much choose it. Mm-hmm. But I decided a while back that it was it worked better if I talked over Facebook mm-hmm. or whatever to everybody, you know, what would you like to see? Mm-hmm. And then kind of working from that, if I happened to remember what they said or didn't, in case I didn't have it written down, mm-hmm. I'd just go ahead and um, come up with enough episodes to show for everybody. And, you know, if folks liked it, you know, we'd watch it until we get to our artificial break point. Okay. And then after that, you know, if everybody was really liking it and it sounded like there were delays in getting it over here to the U.S., so mm-hmm. you know, we'd go ahead and watch the whole thing <laughs> if it wasn't too many episodes long okay so um as a fan club we, you know we go with what the fan likes like uh, uh we're running in, in uh into some boring episodes so we're giving giving anime a shot but if we don't like it at the end of the day we'll just stop watching it and bring something new in okay it's, it's it's about what the members want if the members are bored with it they're not going to keep showing up that's true and that's one of the great things about how we run our club is we have four different things shown every uh, every time. Now, or four different animes 
whereas we're doing a an old old anime you know, that way people can uh, can show up late and not miss anything important mm -hmm. we have a uh, live action going on right now uh, in the next hour just because it's something we've been we've been running around with uh, with that different versions of the series okay uh, and uh, then we got two different other animes after the break now what's the usual schedule for uh, sax uh, it's usually Saturday uh, 5 to 9 30 p.m. okay now is that every Saturday or every, every other Saturday second so, and fourth Saturday on month. so basically every even Saturday oh, okay that makes. Uh, I wouldn't say every even Saturday I would say every second and fourth Saturday because sometimes you'll you'll have that 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 well it's it's Saturday the 8th why aren't you going I'll give you that I'll give you that I'll give you that I'll give you that mm. now um I'm guessing, and I'm just gonna guess, that you guys might have different taste in anime, you know. So everyone does, but we don't. We're not. Uh, oh, no, no. Hold into the Sailor Moon crowd. No, no, the no. Dragon Ball Z crowd. Yeah, yeah. So we actually bring in new subtitled uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to deal with the licensing stuff and and submitting paperwork to say Swank Motion Pictures and paying for stuff that's already being shown. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't do dubs. Right. We do subtitle. So we we watch it before it gets licensed. Mm -hmm. That way we are actually expanding the horizons, and we've had many of our members go on to buy complete series because of that. You know, the mm -hmm. official we licensed version. Oh, okay. So what started you watching anime personally? Uh, I I was in uh, Cleveland NGRTC and I ran into a Best Buy and I picked up a few crazy animes, you know, and I was just like blown away at uh, the the realism, the depth, uh, the craziness. And how old were how old were you? Oh, I was about 17, 16. Okay, all right. Uh, I uh, shared them with a couple of friends, and then they never gave me my best stuff back. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's sometimes just the way it goes. You give it away, don't expect to get it back. <laughs> yeah. uh, Rick, uh, pretty much the same question. Well. I started on some of the really early stuff over here, uh, at least to St. Louis, um, with uh, oh, Speed Racer, that was the name of it. I, I kept thinking, Mach, go, 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 and it's like, no, that wasn't what we called it here. <laughs> um, and uh, one weird show called Sobar the Eighth Man, which got quickly pulled off of there because the way the, the robot guy charged himself was to smoke a cigarette. So, oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that 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 didn't make sense so, now. <laughs> but I didn't really get into it until the early 1980s, when um, they started showing Robotech, uh -huh. and uh, which was basically sort of a rehashing of uh, the Macross, uh, Southern Cross, and uh, Los Piada series, mm -hmm. all sort of as if they were all under the same uh, theme or something. Hmm. Later on, I kind of lost interest in the Robotech stuff and got more interested in the originals because <laughs> they seem to be a little bit better. Okay, so let, let's give a general question. Let's say I'm a brand new member, never been here before, never seen you guys before a day in my life. How would you try to present anime to me? A normal everyday truck driver how about that <laughs> <laughs> i'll go with that one so. <laughs> all right well mostly we we bring in uh, college students to keep the keep the club alive mm -hmm. you know we get one two three regularly showing up uh every semester but you know and now that we're on the official page we've we've jumped it up to uh, 21. <laughs> okay well officially right mm. and you know so we just we have the big old uh, auditorium over there. We just throw the stuff on the screen. You come in, you enjoy. Nice. You don't want to come in, I can't force you. <laughs> good man, good man. Rick? Well, when I talk to people about it, I'll just mention the fact that we have a variety of shows. We kind of mix the old with the new, mm -hmm. relatively new. And um, that it's a variety enough that just about anybody would find a little something to, you know, encourage them to actually show up unfortunately i guess people have schedules going on so it happens i, it happens. I wish we'd have more folks showing up but <laughs> occasionally some people i talk to will show up and you know sit in for a few sessions and 
sometimes people move off to other cities, so you know you can't do much about that. That so. makes sense. That makes sense. Now I remember um, just talking. I remember one anime, and I forgot the name of it. I know it's it's a little adult, but I remember it was an anime about bartending. Do you guys remember that one? By any chance? Um, let's see. I showed one here that. Well, it was set in a bar, but it really was more about um, trying to decide whether uh, the sp souls of these dead people were going to go to No, hell. it was the one before that one, actually. It was it was years back, years oh. back. <laughs> well, uh, when you hit us with a years back question, I can, all I can say is go watch Bennett the Sage's channel and uh, you'll <laughs> get a good idea of all the animes we've shown minus the hentai. <laughs> right. But what I meant to say is that you guys show a, a variety of anime, whether it's, you know, kitty and fun, or if it's action adventure, or if it's drama, or well, we Well, we cut back on, on the uh, five-year-old stuff, because we can watch a little bit of, of everything, mm -hmm. but, you know, there's a, there's a limit, limit to how many, how many uh, magical girls you can watch uh, before you want to blow your brains out. That is a true fact. But what I'm saying is that you guys show a, a variety still, though, of anime. And whether you're coming from one part of life or another part of life, I publicly will say I'm glad to have seen the majority of it, even though I've missed probably a couple meetings because of work. But still, all in all, I really do appreciate it. I wanted to say that on my channel because you guys do an excellent job every single time, even though nine times out of ten, I will only see, what, three or four people at at the meetings or five or six were it, faithful? It varies, you know, we've had people come from Oklahoma to come come hang out with us on Chris, our Christmas uh, you know, stuff. So it, it just depends on whether people wanna you know, strap on their boots, go out that door and come hang out. Now, how would you persuade someone who, you know, has kind of crunchy roll or, you know, different apps like that that are now showing anime? Well, uh, the social, the socializing is a big aspect of what we try to encourage between everybody, because, mm -hmm. you know, a as you pointed out just now, uh, people can download it online or even stream it. Mm -hmm. So, th the only encouragement they have to show up here is mostly for socializing with other folks who are into the same stuff, mm -hmm. and. That, I think, is a big draw, and we have a lot of crossover, not just with anime, but also with some of the live-action stuff, with uh, various games. Garo. <laughs> uh, some of which come originally from Japan, some from the U.S. that eventually end up in Japan. Common yeah. writer. Anyway. <laughs> I'll tell you, I have a bunch of different friends, and I'll tell them about all these awesome animes we've watched here. And it's like, I think I've heard that, I just haven't seen it. And that's the reason right there. Yeah. You come here, you'll see it, and you won't have to download it or we'll look for it, because we already got eight, eight of it. And that way you can you get that sample of it. You get that you get that idea of, oh, I really like this or I really don't like this. Now and then you can just download as much as you want and keep tabs on it. After that. We've yeah. watched so many great animes like Overlord, Iki Towson, also mm. known as Ten Ten. Mm. Uh, it's just amazing all the all the cool stuff we've we've shown here. Yeah, I like mean, I, I said people have bought entire series based off, off it. Like I've bought the entire series of Dragon Drive, which is something you know nothing about, Jon Snow. True. <laughs> yeah, a long time ago, Escaflone was shown here. Yeah, that's and, what I uh, wanted. To, 